The teen accused of killing 13-year-old Tristan Bailey will now be represented by a public defender. That means taxpayers will pay for his defense, something that will likely cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. 14-year-old Aiden Fucci is charged with second-degree murder, currently behind bars at a juvenile facility in Daytona Beach. News for Jackson reporter Zach Lajway joins us now live. Zach Fucci did have a private attorney initially, but he's now no longer representing the 14-year-old. Jen, that's right. A judge granted Fucci's attorney Anwar Snowber's motion to withdraw counsel. We do not know why he wanted off the case, but what we do know is this is in agreement with the Fucci family. Snowber, as we know, has represented Fucci since his arrest. We've reached out to his office several times. We have yet to hear back. Fuji's parents appeared on a virtual call hearing Thursday afternoon. Judge Anthony said the clerk of court approved Fuji's mother, Crystal Smith's indigency application, but denied his father's. She overturned the ruling after learning Jason Fuji supports three people in the household. He said he is self-employed and his lawn service business has taken a downward fall since the crime. He said this is his only source of income. News for Jack spoke with an attorney not affiliated with a case about this motion. We the taxpayers pay for anybody who has the public defender's office representing them. It is an absolute constitutional right in every state that any individual who is indigent and is potentially facing incarceration has the opportunity to have the public defender's office represent them. Public defender Josh Mosley will be the lead attorney on Fucci's case. Public defender Matt Phillips will also be involved. Fucci is in custody of the Department of Juvenile Justice. He is the only suspect in Bailey's murder. Bailey was reported missing Mother's Day morning. Her body was found that afternoon. The medical examiner's office determined the 13-year-old girl was stabbed to death. Thousands of people have signed a petition asking the state attorney to charge Fucci, Fucci as an adult. He's been ordered to remain inside a juvenile detention facility in Volusia County until May 31st. Reporting live in St. John's County, I'm Zach Lasway, Channel 4, The Local Station.